coup, but overthrew him. And what did the United States State Department do about it? Virtually nothing. And as a result, within about 48 hours, that coup was broken. Chavez was back in power, but we had a chance to move in. He has destroyed the Venezuelan economy, and he's going to make that a launching pad for communist infiltration and, and uh, Muslim extremism all over the continent. You know, I don't know about this doctrine of assassination, but if he thinks we're trying to assassinate him, I think that we really ought to go ahead and do it. It's a whole lot cheaper than starting a war. And uh, uh, I don't think any oil shipments will stop. But this man is a terrific danger. And the United States, this is in our sphere of influence, and we can't let this happen. We have the Monroe Doctrine. We have other doctrines that we have announced. And uh, without question, this is a dangerous uh, enemy to our south controlling a huge pool of oil that can hurt us very badly. We have the ability to take him out, and I think the time has come that we exercise that ability. We don't need another $200 billion war uh, to get rid of one you know, strong-arm dictator. It's a whole lot easier to have some of the covert operatives do the job and then get it over with. Reset, get a gun. Reset, get a gun. Don't shoot some Mexicans, Venezuelans, and Africans. You act like the sun, acting like the sun. That's what the preacher says. The preacher says, "Hand to the money." The preacher says, "Hand to the money." God looks with favor upon. God looks with favor on you. And I go buy a new Aston Martin and a condominium on the beach. Welcome. Interstellar cruiser. 
Now, this spaceship will be able to travel through a wormhole and deliver the message and glory of Jesus Christ to those godless aliens. No God ain't free.